In this episode, we are going to talk about electric power. How do we calculate for electric power? So now, let's take note of these symbols. Now we have our I, which represents current, and our current is in what? Amperes or ampere. Now we have V, which represents voltage, and our unit is in what? Volts. We also, let's have P, which is going to represent the power. And the unit for the power is going to be watts. That's for smaller power. And for large power, we are going to get it in kilowatts or in megawatts. Megawatts. Okay. We also have R, which is going to represent our resistance. And we know it is in what? Ohms. Are we good? So now, electric power, which is P, is given or calculated from the expression I multiplying V. Very simple formula which means electric power is current multiplying by what? The voltage. So when you multiply the current by the voltage, you are going to get the electric power, are we good? Which is in watts or kilowatts or megawatts for large amounts of power. So with this, we also know that our V is equal to what I, R. From here, then our I is also V on R, meaning we can get another expression for power, which is going to be P equal to. Now at V, let's put in I R, and this is going to give us I square R. This is also used to calculate for electric power, I square R. Then also, we can also bring in P equal to, at the place of I, let's put in V on R, multiplying the V, which is going to give us V square on R. This is also an expression for electric power. So we have these three expressions for electric power, which is power is I, V. Power is also equal to I square. R and power is also equal to V square on R. All this expression will help us calculate for the electric power. So now we know all this theory, let's try some example and calculate for the various parameters involving power. Let's look at an example. So our example one, an electric heater rated at 1000 watts is connected to a 120 volt power line. How much current does it draw? Solution. So we have an electric heater which is rated at 100 watts and it is connected to a 120 volt power line. We should find the current that is going to be drawn by the electric heater. So first, we can write down our parameters that our power from the question is giving us what? 100 or 1000 watts, which is the same as 1 kilowatt. Are we okay? And this is connected to a voltage source, which is what? 120 volts. And we are to calculate for the current I, which the heater is going to draw. This is very simple. So we know all the three expressions for power, which is IV. We also know P should be equal to I square R, and we know P equal to V square on what? R. So looking at this, which expression is going to help us so easily? We can look at the expression one. So where our P is equal to IV, we have P, we have V. Let's try to calculate for the I. 
So our current I is going to be power on the voltage, which is, what is the power? We have 1000 and the voltage is 120. So solving this, we are going to get 8.33 amperes current. So we can conclude that from our calculation, the current drawn by the heater or by the electric heater is 8.33 amperes and that is going to be so simple so when you want you want to verify your answer you can say p is equal to what is the current 8.33 multiplying 120 and you check for the answer to be one kilo Watt. Let's look at our example two. So example two. What is the maximum power that can be carried by a 220 power line that has a 15 amperes fuse? So we want to know the maximum power that can be carried by a 220 volt power line that has a 15 amperes fields. So first we can write down our parameters and see how we can do it. We now have our voltage to be, it is operating on a 220 volts and we know that 15 amperes, which represents what? The current I, and that is what? 15 amperes. And we are to calculate for the maximum power, which is P. We are looking for power and we talked about a fuse quickly what is a fuse so a fuse the function of a fuse is to limit the current to a safe level so it is going to limit the current in the circuit to a safe level or a safe limit so that's the function of the fuse so now we have to calculate for the maximum power from the expressions of power we have iv so it is so easy to get our p is equal to our current multiplying the voltage so the maximum power is going to be 15 multiplying 220 and this is going to give us 3300 watts so 3300 watts will be the maximum power that can be carried on the power line or p is equal to 3.3 kilowatts so in terms of kilowatts it is 3.3 kilowatts so this is also very simple we can look at example three and we end the episode so example three a generator driven by a diesel engine develops 15 horsepower and it delivers 40 amperes and 270 volts. What is the efficiency of the generator? So we have a generator being driven by an engine, that's a diesel engine, and that it develops a 15 horsepower. That is going to deliver 40 amperes and 270 volts at its output. Now we are to calculate the efficiency of the generator and we are to take one horsepower to be equal to 746 watts. First, we are to calculate for efficiency, so we have to know that efficiency of a generator or efficiency of a machine is the power output over the power input we know that efficiency is never 100 percent so always the input power will be more than the output power so here we are to find the power input and power output first we know that always our power is our iv that's the current multiplying the voltage 
So first, let's look at the expression. One horsepower is going to be 746 watt, right? So for input power, let's start with the input power. Input power. We saw that the generator is developing 15 horsepower. That is the power input, the starting power. Are we okay? So that's the starting power, meaning the input power, which is 15 horsepower. And we want to convert this horsepower into our watts. So that is going to be multiplied by 746 watts per a horsepower. And the power input, so let me call the input power is going to be 11190 watts for the input. And when you hear the word delivers, that means the output, after it has developed this power, it is going to deliver, that's the output power by the generator, is going to deliver 40 amperes, which is our I, and 270 volts, which is our V. So that is going to be 40 multiplying 270. And this is going to give us 10800 watt. So you can see that the output power is less than the input power. It is developing this as the input power, but it is giving us an output of this power. Therefore, the efficiency of the machine or the generator is going to be power output, the one we had as 10800 on the one it developed as the input 1190. And with this, we are getting 0 0.965, which is 96.5% efficiency. So the generator is giving us a 96.5% efficiency if you get efficiency more than 100 meaning you have to go back to your answer should always be less than 100 thank you for watching this episode on electric power see you in the next episode please subscribe to the channel like our videos and share check out for the next episode